morning. Welcome to the Daily Connection. Good morning. How you doing this morning? Well, sir, it is a good Friday, a great day to be alive in the Lord. We call it a faithful Friday because the one who is faithful and true gave his life for us. And, uh, hey, it was all because of love. sharing good news this morning as they call this Good Friday. And uh, as I've said before, this we call it Good Friday because our King, our Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ, had a bad Friday. It was the day, of course, when they hung him, as they say, high and stretched him wide on that cross. But uh, he, he gave his life for us willingly. He chose to come down that road. He said, no man takes my life, but I give it willingly. And of course, y'all know we talk about Jesus all year long, the good news of Jesus Christ. And as this time we celebrate him even more, speaking of the events of his journey and walk and to the cross and is laying his life down, but taking it up again. Well, we want to invite you out this Sunday at 10.30 a.m. Actually, we want you to be there uh, by 10.15 to the Marriott uh, Rocket City, right there at uh, the Space and Rocket Center. We're going to be meeting in the Marriott. Our special service for this Resurrection Sunday is at 10.30 starts at 10 15 a.m and of course we'll be going online at 10 30 uh, but we want you to be there come on out and uh, we'd love to meet you greet you love on you teach you the word of god on our series new if christ did anything he came to bring a new day he came to bring a a, a new and living way a new covenant Make you, make you a new creature, um, give you a new life to walk in the newness of life, and for us to live on the plane of his very life. Here's what Jesus said in John chapter 12. He says, uh, uh, he that followeth me shall be where I am, that he might have the joy of my life essentially is what the translation says. He that followeth me shall be where I am. What was he saying? He's saying that our journey to the life that he purposed and intended for us and that God intends for us comes from our following him. You know, every year we come to this time called Easter or Resurrection Sunday or whatever. And, you know, uh, it is uh, documented that this is one of the most highly attended uh, Sundays uh, uh, where people attend church of the whole year. Interestingly, <clears throat> I want to say something to you. Although if that's you, it's a great thing for you to go to church on Easter. But it's so much more for you to, to just go to church on Easter to celebrate a day than to receive Christ and become a Christ follower. 
to truly be where he is and enjoy the life that he came to, to, to give us. We must be followers of him. This is what Jesus said in John chapter 10, uh, about the 27th or 28th verse. He says, uh, my sheep know my voice and they follow me. You see, friend, our call is to be sheep, as he calls himself in John 10, the good shepherd. But why would I follow him? He makes his case. He says, I am the good shepherd. I'm not like the hireling. I lay my life down for the sheep. If you're going to follow something or someone, shouldn't it be someone who is willing to go to the hilt for you, to lay his very life down for you, and not just to impress you, but to save you, to rescue you. And not only to save and rescue you, but to take you to the plane of where he lives. The scripture tells us in Ephesians chapter 2, but God, because of his great love with which he loved us, while we were yet sinners in this operation and process of what we saw and see of the record of Jesus' life, death, and resurrection. It is called the operation of God. And by it, it says in Ephesians chapter 2, verses 4 through 6, that God quickened us who were dead in sins of trespasses and the car, raised us up to make us to sit together in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. Now, you might say that, well, yeah, yeah we get to go to heaven. No, 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 no. What he's saying is that we are raised up as we follow him to enjoy the life in it more abundantly that he came to give. But not only that, that we get to be life givers. Hey, let us follow him today. Don't you really want to be where he is? Not just one day in eternity, but he has blessed us through Christ with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places in him. Let us follow him today. Come join us. Come and connect it at 10 uh, 15 this Sunday morning at the Marriott uh, Rocket City, right at the Space and Market Center. You'll see the signs. And uh, we love to celebrate Jesus with you, declare all the newness of life that he has come to give us as we follow him. And we, to ourselves, be those who calls others to also follow him into the new life. This has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected-church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and of course, right here on this Gospel Exposure Outreach to the Tennessee Valley and beyond every single day. Because together we're the difference that makes a difference as we awaken to God's purpose of knowing him and his love for us. As we mobilize to his mission of making him known and sharing his love for others. That's good news on this good, faithful Friday, P. All right, all right, then. And then I'll tell you what we're looking forward to the weekend, Easter Sunday. Yes, sir. And yeah, man, and I know you're going to have a great message for us on Sunday morning. So, listen, we want you to have a fantastic day today. Lord willing, we'll be talking to you tomorrow. We'll sanctified Saturday. Hey, it sounds like a winner to me. Lord willing, we'll talk to you then. Have a great day. Bye-bye for now. All right, Pastor. Bye-bye now. All right. Hey, let's go in the goodness of this day. Knowing that uh, Christ suffered for us and that uh, as we identify with him and we embrace him in and through the cross, following him in his life and his uh, resurrection, that we too can enjoy the life that he came to bring us and be those who are life givers. Don't forget, all of you who are in the Huntsville, Madison area, the Rocket City, Tennessee Valley, North Alabama, and surrounding areas, come be with us at 10, 15 a.m. at the Marriott Space and Rocket Center uh, right here off of I-565 in the heart of Huntsville. We love to see you there. Bye-bye for now.